Hi fellow webflowers and designers. In this video, I'm going to show you my process, how to export images as WebP files for a Webflow project. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing you have to do is to Google and search for Tinyfy Image Compressor Figma plugin. And then you have to click on this search result. So the Tinyfy Image Compressor, WebP, JPEG and PNG, and you have to install it. In my case, I've already installed it, so it stands open in here. But once you've installed it and you are in your um, Figma project, and I've just uh, used some cool interior pictures here. Um, and as you can see, these pictures here, they are quite large. So in this case, maybe I need um, the images to have a different format. So in this case, I am um, wrapping them, them in a frame. So you can do it with a right click or you can use this short code here. And now you can see I have a frame around it and I can name this image. Let's say, uh, let's name this image one. And this later uh, becomes the name of your image file once you've exported it. And now um, while pressing command on Mac, you can see I can um, move the frame. I can do, for example, something like this here. And now here I can choose uh, clip content and you can see I can yeah have a different cutout from the image I also now I can select the image here I can move it somewhere else I can resize it to something like this whatever I like maybe something like this and you can also now just by pressing the um, the key K you can change into this scale mode but you can also change it here from move to scale. And now you can um, change the, for example, the width value to something like 720 pixel and it gets sized down and it keeps its uh, proportion. So this is our image one now. Let's do the same here with the image two. Um, right click on it and choose frame selection. I'm going to name this image Two, and I'm going to resize my my frame and if you see if this is now happening it is because I'm still here in this uh, scale mode um, I have to switch back to the move mode and now while uh, pressing command on my keyboard um, I can change the frame size and again I can choose clip content and now if I want, I can move the image a little bit. And let's also give this a width of 720 pixel. And if I do it here, you will see, um, I change the width of the frame, but not the width of the image. And it doesn't keep the proportion. If I click this little uh, lock here to constrain the proportions, um, you can see I can resize the frame, but not the image. And that's the difference um, between this move mode and this scale mode. So let's get back into move mode. So now let's give it a width of 720 pixel to um, map it with the size of the other image. Let's do the same with this one. Let's frame it in uh, with a frame, yeah. Let's go back to the move mode. And this time I want a square. I want a square of 720 by 720 pixels. You can see it's, uh, I have this frame here and it's way smaller than the image myself. I can't really see the frame because I didn't click clip content. If I now click it, you can see I can only see part of the image, but now by selecting the image and Going back to scale mode, I can size it down to something I like. Yeah, maybe, maybe something like this. Now I can rename the frame also to image 03. 
And now if I want to export it, I'm going to select all frames, not the images itself, but the frames. And now you can go to uh, plugins and choose or search for Tinyfy image compressor. Um, I have it here in the recents list, but if you've never used it before, you have to go to save plugins and find it here in, in this list. So if you click on it, it will open this little command window and or, or this, this pop-up and here you can choose WebP, PNG or JPEG and uh, the scale. I would always recommend the scale of um, 2x because this will export the image uh, twice the size. So uh, the native size is 720 pixel and it's exported, uh, it will be 1440. Why do we do that? because um, we need that for retina displays uh, in Webflow. And if it's an image like this, um, the quality of 75% should be enough. If it's like an illustration you are exporting, an illustration that contains text, I would always go with something like 80, 90%. You have to try out a little bit and maybe even export it uh, three times uh, the size um, because you uh, want the the illustration with the text still to look uh, crisp on uh, your website in Webflow. So, but this is images, so let's go down to twice the size. 75% is enough. Now, um, I have to select them all. I click add to queue. Now you can see all my images are in the queue. And now I can convert them. Takes a while and uh, downloaded to my downloads folder. So once you're on Webflow, you can upload your images, open here your um, assets panel and take your images and drag and drop them here. You can see here I have them. And if I click on it, you can see it's 1440 pixels. So it's twice the size and uh, at the same time, it's just 49 kilobytes. Let's open it in an um, external tab and you can see the quality is uh, still good. Let's have a look at uh, one of the other images like this one. Yeah, you can see it's a, still a good quality. Um, and we only have a file size of 116 kilobytes. And now you can go here, for example, and replace this image. Let's replace it with that. And now it's important as you exported them with twice the size that you choose here, image is HIDPI. Um, this is necessary for retina displays. So um, that's it. This is my process, how to export images um, as WebP files. I know that it's possible to uh, just go here and um, uh, select your images like this and choose here, compress and it's supposed to compress them to WebP, but oftentimes it takes hours just for a couple of images. Um, and sometimes from my experience, it didn't work at all. And uh, so that's why I prefer uh, to do it the way I just showed you. And let me know what's your process. Um, I'm happy to see you in the comments. Thanks for watching. And as always, stay in the flow.